Hey guys. So for the channel's birthday, I decided I want to do a little something different. Um, I'll be playing some, well, two VR horror games today for your amusement. And they're very short, so you won't have to be sitting through like an, an hour's worth of video. But yeah, you know, I'd appreciate it if you watch it, but you don't have to, especially if you're not into horror. And yeah, one of them is funny, so it's, you know... It's not all scary, spooky stuff. But yeah, anyway, so, um, yeah, without further ado, let us begin the first horror game. Hello, everyone, and welcome to, as you can see right here, Aspen Lane. This is a VR, a very short VR horror game that I decided to record because I wanted to do something else different and because I can have my dog right here with me. You can't see him because <laughs> you can't see the pass through, but I can. But yeah, so apparently in this game, you're going to be like a paranormal investigator that's supposed to go to this house and help this family who is experiencing paranormal activity. And um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so as I said, it's very short. So, you know, you don't have to sit through like an hour's worth of gameplay, hopefully. But yeah, anyway, so without further ado, let us begin Aspen Lane. How to do your job. Use the grab buttons to interact with everything. Oh. Aha. So. Nope. Oh, God damn it. Oh, here I am. Oh, I can see the outside. Can I? Oh, that was a little dizzying. Can I look outside? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Sometimes you can get away with, like, sticking your head out of the boundaries of a game to see, like, the outsides. But not in this one, I guess. Let's see. Ooh. That's gonna get very dizzying. Oh. Is anybody up there? Something's gonna scare me? I am standing up right now, but... <laughs> Oof. The eye. See, there's a reason I didn't play this game before. Because I'm already freaked out. See, kids are freaked out. Call PI. So I'm like, I get, I guess I'm the PI. Press the garage. Blah, blah, blah. Current investigation, 19 Aspen Lane, North London. Percent of interest, Jane, age 30. Regular nightmares. Bethany, age 6. Reports in imaginary friend. Zachary, age 11. Detached behavior, strangely no reports. He's probably the one that's haunted. Hmm. Radio acting up. Can't touch anything on here. Well, that is very dizzying. I should just like turn around for real. I can't. Oh, this is locked. You have one new message. Oh crap. First message sent today at 11 p.m. Oh, <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I'm not gonna get tired, or what you guys have in here dirty dishes. Right. I 
So how I have to take this and go around, or...? This open? Oh god! God. Ah. No, I don't want it on me. There's something behind me. <laughs> the door's closed. It's the closet, isn't it? I don't want to go over there. <laughs> writing is there supposed to be like Believe me, little demon child, if I could leave, I would. to see. Oh. I can't go. Uh. Oh. I I guess that was it. So. That was it. I did say it was very short. Um, I'm assuming this house burnt down in the past or something. Um, we couldn't really go anywhere else. Uh, uh, um, but yeah. Hmm. Well, I like I said, that was a short... Uh, a short game that I wanted to play for a while. I was very scared to play it, actually. Um, but, um, it wasn't so bad. Sure, you could hear everything in my headset. Um, 
and like I could hear like everything moving around and it's very disorientating, but eh, it, it was fun. Ooh, wasn't that spooky? <laughs> yeah, that's probably the only like real spooky game that I'm going to play right now. And um, yeah, <laughs> anyways, so we're going to be moving on to Camp Marshmallow now, which as you can probably tell is kind of like a funny game. So yeah. Anyway, so here it is, Camp Marshmallow. Welcome to Camp Marshmallow, a very short VR horror experience because, yeah, I wanted to play it. So, um, yeah, let's get into it and play. Let me change your skin tone. Technically, I am kind of this complexion, even though I'm Mexican, but yeah, that'll do. Hey, Scoutmaster. Over here. Code, code, code. The fire's roaring and our sticks are sharp, Scoutmaster. The only thing missing are the marshmallows. Here. Consider this the Spear of Destiny. It can transform an ordinary marshmallow into a beautiful memory. Can I spear you? No, I can't. You'll see little marshmallow. Sweet, if I were alone, I could get a bag of marshmallows from the store anytime, but it's only here with them that it seems to make sense. Who's next? Have you ever frowned while eating a marshmallow? Of course not, it's impossible. They're sugar packed bundles of pure joy. So, I guess I'm gonna kill all the marshmallow people. These guys seem to be jumping for joy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, please don't eat me! It's kind of messed up. Mmm, <laughs> so tasty. Being a marshmallow must be great. Your only purpose is to make people happy. All right then. A marshmallow may last longer in the bag, but what kind of existence is that? They were made to be eaten. And what could be better than being shared among friends on a night like this? <laughs> Maybe not being skewered. Oh. Huh. Oh, there you are. Stabby, stabby. Fuck you, asshole. Oh, Mr. Mr. Mmm, each bite is a little taste of heaven. A tough exterior filled with warm, gooey sweetness. Not too different from you and I, right? I guess. I mean, I could just skewer one of you instead of the marshmallows. I tried giving up sugar once, but it didn't last very long. Did you know they put sugar in pretty much everything? A kid just can't survive on carrots and celery alone. Mm. Oh, my fingers. <laughs> Instead of blood, I'm covered in marshmallow. Oh. At least let me clear my browser history first. Huh. Spooky music. I know a family of cookies right down the road. If you let me go, I can take you to them. They put you in a pine wood box and okay. what about cupcakes? Do you like cupcakes? I saw the most delicious looking cupcake ever wandering around here yesterday. I'm sure I can find them for you. Okay. Nah. Worms crawl in 
Just what's with the spooky music? What the hell are you guys singing? And pus pours out like melted cheese. Spread it on. Anyways. We're fated to eventually reach into that bag and pull out the final marshmallow. The fantasy ends and the real world creeps back in. Transition often requires sacrifice, but it's up to you to decide which end of the stick you're going to be on. Okay. The final stick. I'm sorry, little marshmallow. This is the way it has to be. Is this gonna hurt? Yeah, it will. Can you tell it was my first time? <laughs> I hope I taste good. Find out. Mother always said I'd meet that special someone who makes me tingle all over. <laughs> How does it taste, Scoutmaster? <laughs> what was that? It's coming from over there. What is that thing? <laughs> well, I guess we were eaten. Be kind to our tasty friends. Thank you for playing. And that was Camp Marshmallow. See, I told you it was going to be a funny little game. Sure, you ended up, you know, spearing marshmallows, but, um, oh well. <laughs> I guess you kind of have to crack a few eggs or spear a few marshmallows in order to make something cool. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, anyways, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed these two little games because I had fun playing them. And um, I would like to thank all of you for basically subscribing to the channel, watching all the videos, leaving comments, etc, etc. I do like reading your comments and sometimes I do like to reply, but um, I've been very busy as of late. But I do promise to reply to the comments when I see them. So, yeah. Uh, well, anyways, so... um. Here's to, I guess, another year of the channel, <laughs> hopefully. We'll have to see, but uh, yeah. So, um, yay? Let's celebrate the birthday of the channel or something? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, bye bye <laughs> And thank you for watching.